Hello guys, Befio is back with another exciting product, Stylizer. Stylizer is a drag and drop Unity extension that can change the look of your game in a unique way. So we've split this video into four categories, how to use it, plug-in features, flexibility, what's inside. Below, in the description of this video, we've made a timetable of contents, so you can jump straight to the part of this video which interests you. How to use it. In Stylizer, you can play with three layers to change the colors of your game and mix those colors with patterns. Pixelate your screen to give it a pixel art aesthetic. Apply grain to get more detail. Stylizer unifies colors in a consistent way. You can quickly achieve a unique looking style with our ready-made palettes and patterns. Open a scene in which you would like to apply the stylizer. Add the stylizer as a component to the camera, and that's it. Now you can play with it and see which color grade suits your game best. Palette tool. The palette asset is used for specifying which colors are to be used in the dithering effect. You can create one by using the Create menu, Befio Dithering Palette, or use one of the pre-existing palettes, which we provide you with. The asset has Palette Color List and Mixed Color Count properties to set up your palette. With the List from Image button, it's possible to populate the color list with the colors found in any given image. When the Generate Texture button is pressed, the texture is saved within the asset. That's why the image effect and materials will just take a palette asset as input. This will make sure the mixed color count is set up correctly in the shader. There is an option to generate texture automatically using the Auto Generate checkbox. A warning will be shown if you changed any settings, but didn't generate the texture. Now we've come to one of the more interesting parts of the palette asset, the random color generation. By using this function, you can achieve great results, sometimes within one click of a button. Selective randomization. When checked, only selected colors from the RGB spectrum will be randomized. Randomize colors only in black and white. When checked, colors are generated in monochrome. Pattern tool. The pattern asset is used for automatically generating a pattern based on the settings specified. You can create one by using the Create menu, Befio Dithering Pattern. The asset is able to generate three types of patterns, noise, checkerboard, and lines. Lines generates either horizontal, vertical, or sloped. 45 degree, 135 degree lines with adjustable line thickness and value variance. Checkerboard generates a checkerboard pattern with adjustable size and value variance. Noise generates a completely random pattern value for each pixel. Pixelization effect. Select the pixelization checkbox. You can immediately see that the image has changed. You can adjust the pixelization slider to make the effect stronger or weaker, whichever you prefer. Pixelization tool can even speed up your game performance because in order to achieve this look, the resolution of the screen is lowered. Pixel art is a form of digital art wherein images are created and edited at the pixel level. What defines pixel art is its unique visual style. We love to create tools which are easy to use. A few sliders and buttons with ready-made presets can speed up your workflow dramatically. Adding more detail using grain to the final image. Grain allows you to reduce banding on the color steps. In the first method, we have intensity, essentially grain strength. Higher means more visible grain. Luminance contribution. Lower values mean less noise in darker areas. Grain particle size. Colored. Enable the use of colored grain. Animated. Enable grain animation. The second method contains similar but not exactly the same parameters. Intensity multiplier. The multiplier applied to the following intensity parameters. General the overall color intensity. Black boost, the boost applied to the black parts of the grain. White boost, the boost applied to the white parts of the grain. It's also worth mentioning that both grain methods can be used at the same time without any problems. The package contains a few material shaders which can be used to create dithered materials. There are in total eight dithered shaders available. 
Standard and Diffuse Lambert specify the lighting method used before the dithering effect is applied to the material. The standard shader uses more heavy lighting calculation based on the Unity standard shaders and offers a few more options. Diffuse is a more lightweight shader based on the legacy Lambert lighting calculations. Both have separate shaders for opaque and transparent materials. The transparent materials will use a cutout alpha method based on the pattern. All these shaders also have two variants for soft and simple lighting. When using materials, the pattern can be applied in screen space or in object space. Screen space will be like the image effect, a static pattern over the material. Object space will wrap the pattern around the object based on the UV coordinates. Soft lights will result in better lighting calculations, using a forward additive pass for each light, with less accurate dithering results. The colors of the lights will be smoother, and not from the palette only. The simple lights variants will ignore the additive lights pass. This means all additional lights will be ignored, but the dithering effect will be much more precise. Here are all the parameters available in the material settings. Pattern scale, scaling of the pattern, especially useful if not in screen space. Screen space pattern, switches between screen space and object space. Alpha cutout, transparent shaders only. Cutout value to make certain parts of the material completely transparent based on the pattern specified. Flexibility. Stylizer creates a unique atmosphere and vibe of any kind of environment. That's why it's easy to use in any kind of project. With a few clicks, we've applied Stylizer to our Space Journey asset. And, as you can see, results regarding color values are totally different from the original image. It's all about lighting. Stylizer can recognize highlights, midtones, and shadows. Then, you can affect each of those tones with specific colors and achieve next-level lighting simulations. This city adventure asset is converted into the vintage look with just a few clicks. Color combined with our asset city adventure brings a gorgeous level of detail. Stylizer works really well with perspective and orthographic types of camera. You can also specify which elements should be affected by Stylizer using opaque and transparent material shaders. Stylize your games with just a few clicks. Stand out on the App Store and Google Play with unique visuals of your game. Pixelate any kind of graphic art. It doesn't matter if you're working on a 3D or 2D game. It will work with 3D models as well as sprites and textures. Usually, to achieve good color correction, you can use the color grading method. In Stylizer, you achieve more unique color grading using our palette tool, but with much better performance. Documentation. If you would like to learn more about tools or any kind of feature used in Stylizer, you should take a look at the detailed documentation. It contains animated GIFs to better illustrate each parameter and value. Also, you can learn more about some specific cases regarding pixelization. Stylizer extended. So let's go further, to the last section. First of all, we would like to mention that Stylizer comes in two versions. Stylizer extended contains a full featured plugin, but it also provides you with super useful additional content, such as the extra demo content, and most importantly, 68 color palettes and 10 patterns. Demo content comes with four environments to show you the full potential of Stylizer. We've made sure that with each palette and pattern, you get the best color grade in order to help you achieve the best effects. Of course, you can always create your own palettes and patterns using our tools. Apocalypse Scene comes with 36 unique models. You can create, for example, endless runner games or any type of car rush games. Very easy to reuse in your project. It's fully optimized for mobile and VR. Mountains Pack. This example shows the Mars Mountain Scene set. As you can see, it shows the flexibility of the Stylizer plugin with different types of environments. Mountains Scene helps you to achieve great results with mountain chunks. It comes with one tillable chunk model and two 8K resolution textures, diffuse with reflection map and normal map. 
detective scene is a small interior pack with an old detective waiting to make a deal. It comes with 50 unique small models. It's a great scene to take inspiration from and jumpstart you in creating your own game. Space Environment consists of six scenes with fully animated moons, planets around the main planet, ring system, and asteroid volume around ring animated using the particle system. Dialyzer Basic. It contains a fully featured plugin without extra content and presets. The difference is quite important, but if you're only interested in the plugin itself, this is a version for you. As you can see, this version comes with one example scene and four presets. That's all, guys. Thanks for listening. We hope you've enjoyed working with our asset. Check out our other top quality assets. Remember that all examples which we show here in this tutorial are available to buy on the Asset Store.